Good morning, people. My name is Bruno, and I will talk about what can persuade you more than any person. Um, have you guys in already in a situation that you are resistant to make a decision in your life, and you are in a comfort zone, and really prefer to, to stay in the, the comfort zone and don't change the, anything in your life? But suddenly, a couple of unexplained events uh, happen in, and persuade you to change your mind. And any person say anything for you, but some events in your life change you. So, uh, put your hands up who oh, identify with this situation sometimes. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Okay, something like this. Uh, what I want to show is uh, people really believe all the time you are at the helm of your lives. You can control everything, or if I study, if, you're, if I go to school, if I work hard, if my struggle, I can change everything. But sometimes, uh, I go to show that you are in the wrong way some, sometimes. And uh, a lot of events started to make you in the right way. And you don't know how to explain this. Um, okay, so I will talk about how do some events can persuade you to make decisions. And how does a book persuade me to make important decisions in my life? And how you, can you open your mind and become free of attachments in your life? Uh, how do some events can persuade you to make decisions? Uh, I'm going to talk about some situation in my life. I was very comfortable with my good job, with my girlfriend, and my family, my house. And I remember my friend said, Mio, you, you are not good, you are sad. I'm feeling you have to change something in your life. And I said, no, I'm okay, I'm good. I don't have anything to, to change. But he said, Yo, you desire to go to Toronto, you desire to go to, to study English. Why? Why don't you do this? Okay. But I was very resident, and my girlfriend was expecting to go to a trip in the, the vacation. <laughs> and okay, that's, and I was searching on internet to, to tickets to get to, with my miles, credit card miles. And suddenly my boss, the same time I was almost buying the tickets and my boss called me to to go to the, the room and fired me. It's, it was maybe two months before the my my vacation. And I said to her, oh my we can't go more anymore. I was we were planning to go to Chicago but we couldn't. I said to her, I'm sorry but uh, I can go. And after this, the, the relationship wasn't good and we broke up. And then I started working with some friends as a freelancer. But my, I, was, I wasn't good. I feeling that I could do things better. And, but I was worried about my friends because we were in an important project. And after two, one month of thinking about this, I decided to talk to him. And the same day, my friend said to me, you have to, to talk because if the finances is not good and I can pay you for more two months, I think, it, and you have to stop. And I talked to him about my plans and he said, okay, perfect, because you can earn half of the money and go to Toronto, you work there. 
uh, remotely. And I said, oh, it's perfect. It's really perfect for me. It, it was the milestone for my decision. And how does a book persuade me to change in my life, to make change? I remember a friend told me about this book, The Power of Now, because I use it to be very rational and personal, I think. Every time you're planning about the future, oh, tomorrow can be better. Tomorrow is the, my, my happiness is on, in the future. And after I started reading, uh, reading this book, I discovered something like the, rap the happiness is now. Uh, and let's think about this quote. If not now, when? Uh, it really helped me to be more confident about my decisions. And I will show more quotes about this. That inspired me, really inspired me. Realize deeply that the present moment is all you ever have. Uh, stress is caused by being here but you want to be there. So now, the last point, I will talk about how to open your mind and be free of attachments. And in my opinion, the biggest mistake of, of people is about being. People really identify yourself with what you have, not what you are. And my good job, my girlfriend, or my car, or my goods, it's, people really think that it's, it's my, it's me. But I believe it's not this point. You are more than this thing. Because the life is a circle, a cycle. Sometimes you have this, one year after you don't have anything of this, and you have another thing. Um, so don't live dreams uh, based on all attachments. Don't think about attachments to, to make decisions. So uh, you can only lose something that you have, but you cannot lose something that you are. Um, with these facts, we talked about how do some events can persuade you to make decisions? How does a book persuade me to make important, important decisions in my life? Can you open your mind and become free of attachments in your life? Uh, with these facts, uh, think you, you can be the pilot of your life. You can get the control, but sometimes you have a co-pilot to help you to, to make these decisions. So, Always pay attention of the signals. Sometimes the life send you are, send to you signals, and it could be a, a really good uh, opportunity in your life. So because it, the life is now, not yesterday and not tomorrow. So enjoy. <laughs>